Hello and welcome to the WebDoPy channel. In this tutorial, we will work with masking images in CSS. We will use mask image property and also the gradient. And let's get started. Those are the images that we will use in this video. And firstly, I will start with HTML. I will create new container. And inside of this container, I will create image for the mask. And that's all for HTML. Let's work with CSS. Okay, I will use mask image and the path to the image will be URL and we will use the rocket image and also I will use WebKit engine for Chrome and Safari. And the size of mask image will be 100. Okay, and as a result, you can see that images are repeating and to fix this, we need to set the correct width and height for the container. I will set with 300 and height as well. And also I will set width and height 100% for the image. So it should fit to the container and we have a result. So as you can see using mask image and WebKit mask image for Chrome and Safari rendering, we can create masking images with a main image and background image. Also, as an example, I will use different images for the main masking image. The one is triangle. As you can see, it has the same dimensions. And another one. We can also set different dimensions for the image. But it will be cut. So we need to use the bigger one. Also, if we try to not use the width and height, the image will be repeated. Or we can use the width and height correctly to not have a cut at image. Okay, in the next case that we will review is a gradient masks. We will use firstly the linear gradient. And for the image, I will set only 500 width. Okay, and to use linear gradient, we can also use mask image. And just set linear gradient and I will set to top. So it will go from the bottom to top, transparent. And color will be black. Also we need to set WebKit rendering. And as a result you can see that we have linear gradient from top to bottom. And on the next step let's review the radial gradient. And we will make it inside of the image. So we simply need to say instead of linear we need to set radial and I will say circle transparent 30% and the same property to the WebKit engine. As you can see we have radial gradient inside the image and on the next step let's try to create the radial outside the image so the image itself will be in the circle shape. To do this we just need to simply replace the color position with transparent position and I will say 50% and the same over here. So as you can see we have radial gradient but outside the image and the image with circle shape we can try 10% and let's test it a little bit. Okay, that's pretty much for this video. Thank you guys for watching, hope it was very useful. You can use it in your project as well and welcome to my next tutorials.